Okay. Hi there. Hi. So, this is kind of a random video. I don't usually make stuff like this, but I just wanted to do a rant about how crazy either Bricklink's auto-buy program or just its auto-select feature or Bricklink sellers are. Um, I'm working on a Lego build. That's, that's quite a big one. So just as I'm gathering parts from my own collection, I'm checking to see what the price is looking like as I find more and more parts. Because if it's cheap enough, it's fuck it, I'll just buy more parts. It's fine, even if I already have them, because I'm irresponsible. But like, this is just blowing my mind. So I've populated my wanted list, and it's brought up the people who have the most items associated with my list. This one's got 173. But I open it, and I start looking at it, and I'm just floored by the total cost of what it would cost me to get the most items from my list from this one person. And then you, you look through it and you start to see why, where a used arch is being sold for $1.50, but the one, that wasn't even the one that really threw me from this list. It was uh, a little bit further down. There's $5 for a big round corner. At least that's a giant part. I can kind of get it, right? But as I was going through and looking at the, the prices on things, the one that just floored me was up here like 24 cents three dollars for for plate and i'm just trying to figure out what they're smoking what are they doing why are these prices so high <laughs> for for such you know basic piddly parts I, I do need this. I know this is a special color that is not often received in this, right? But like $6 for for an axle? Holy crap. Um, and this wasn't even the worst one then because there was another one I was looking at just a few minutes ago. Maybe it was this one. Uh, that just blew me away. But I mean, like, what are they doing? What are these prices? You guys got to be careful when you're buying on BrickLink because, my God, people just charge whatever they feel like. And there's, you know, you can just stumble in and purchase it without any idea what you're doing. It's crazy. Come on, load. Load, 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 load. You're ruining my video. Engagement. All right. Let's go ahead and just do the auto select and see what it populates me with here because, again, this one, like, actually terrifies me more because it's supposedly doing all this math to try to figure things out. But then you like see the, the prices that it commits you to and you're like, and I'm just like, no, never. I don't think I'll ever do an auto buy <laughs> um, from Bricklink. I would rather go through, find the cheapest, most crucial part that I need uh, at its cheapest price point, and then try to fill a list from there and do five, six orders over time even if I end up paying more in shipping costs than I would pay $5 for a simple brick. It's craziness to me. I'm just saying, just be careful out there, folks. And of course, this is like ruining my video. Why won't it load faster? It's a big list. It's a big list. It's a lot of parts. I get that. But I don't get 11 stores, $522 dollars, and some of these prices just floor me. Here's this one. This cart come up to 123 bucks, and I'm like, eh, three dollars almost for an eight by eight plate. That seems excessive. There's that 580 again. Oh, this is the same person I was just looking at, wasn't it? Um, I mean, that does tell you something, though, right? This one didn't even match the minimum buy for the store. Uh, man, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Be cautious. Be safe out there. This one's forty dollars for this store. And it's barely getting me any of the stuff I need. Ugh. Be careful out there, folks. A message from Sid Part Two. Goodbye.